Now those hair bay days were something. We were wild, so hip. We used to go up the road and we get our chicken and chips. And then we buy our beer. We head on across the road. We go up by the old high school telling jokes and being cool. And then we see the cops flying up the road. There were boys and girls running through the woods, no matter about the snow. Now you run out through the woods, and then there's a big old bog. You might as well keep running, your feet are already soft. Then we decided to have some fun with the RCMP. While I'm already out in the bog, all the way up to my knees. The cops thought they had us, said we wouldn't go far. And by the time they made it back to the road, the boys stole their car. Car was later found down by Lockers Bay. Everyone in the town knew nobody would say. The last thing that you want to do is rent your buddies out. Cause later on that very same night, you're going to get a punch in the mouth. Now living in Hare Bay on Newfoundland's east coast, we didn't have much at all, but it felt like we had the most. I wouldn't trade a minute, no, not one single day, so I hold on to my memories of living in Hare Bay. Now those Hare Bay girls were sexy, and they never let you down. The only problem we had, they like boys from other towns. But when we got our license, hey, then we weren't so bad. But I still wouldn't pick them up, cause most of them I already had. <laughs> Living in Hare Bay, on Newfoundland's east coast. We didn't have much at all, but it felt like we had the most. And I wouldn't trade a minute, no sir, not one single day. So I hold on to my memories of living in Hare Bay. Now we would skip off school and we head for the hills. We get on the mushrooms, but we never touched the pills. And we had lots of beer. We drank the old Sam, but we couldn't afford the hash at $20 a gram. Now there's some things you won't understand, then again, you might. There's not much there to do, boys, except fish, fuck, and fight. And if you move far away or just up around the bend, your worst enemy home could be now your best friend. Now living in Hare Bay on Newfoundland's east coast, we didn't have much at all, but it felt like we had the most. I wouldn't trade a minute, no, not one single day. So I hold on to my memories of living in Hare Bay. Of living in Hare Bay.